Hello, my name is Trifan Catalin. I am from Trifan Performance. And my name is Alex Dragomir. I'm from Vector Custom. And uh, today uh, we'll start a series of uh, movies about uh, our project. Um, we speak about an N62 engine that uh, we want to bring it over 1000 horsepower. We aim to get around uh, 1 megawatt, which is uh, 1300 horsepower. Uh, we'll start our journey by give you guys a short briefing about the parts and what we modified on the engine, on the engine block itself. We'll go through the parts a little bit and now I'll leave my colleague to speak. First things first, we'll start speaking about uh, the engine block. Uh, we'll use a stock engine block, stock casting, that uh, have been machined to uh, receive uh, iron sleeves. The moment we decided to install the cylinder sleeves, we also decided to downsize it to 91 millimeters in order to have a thicker cylinder wall, because as you all know, higher power means higher combustion pressure, so we'll have to have a thick cylinder wall. As uh, you all know, the N62 engine uh, is uh, an open deck engine, and uh, we have chosen to um, close the deck to, um, to have a more robust uh, top of the block and to prevent uh, cylinder flexing. This task was accomplished by uh, Gita Engineering, a good friend of ours. The moment we decided to go with cylinder sleeves and deck closing, we also decided to go with custom head gaskets with copper rings to ensure a proper sealing of the combustion chamber. As you can see, the block has been machined already to receive the copper rings. On the bottom end, we have choose to, to use uh, stock main bearings, stock caps and bolts. For the crankshaft, uh, we have chosen to use an N62 forged crankshaft from Alpina Engines. And we want to give our thanks to uh, Philip Laszlo, which is a guy from, uh, from Budapest that uh, sells uh, Alpina parts, Alpina engine parts, superchargers and uh, kits like that. Uh, and uh, he helped us to uh, acquire this uh, crankshaft, which is very rare. For the pistons, we decided to go with uh, custom CP pistons with the uh, ceramic coating on the top and heavy duty wrist pins to withstand heavy loads. To support the higher uh, torque and the horsepower, we have chosen to, uh, to use FCP forge rods in conjunction with uh, ACL uh, bearings. For the fourth induction part, we are covered by Garrett, which is uh, our partner in crime for this project. And uh, we'll use uh, this uh, beauty here, uh, G45 1500 Turbo. So uh, the other parts for the fourth induction uh, setup. Uh, wheel gate, 50 millimeter uh, wheel gate from Garrett. Uh, also um, an intercooler core for the air intake system and uh, um, speed sensor for the turbo. So we can, uh, we can measure it. For the cylinder head, we decided to remain with stock, but refurbished ones. Uh, you will see it in the next episode, probably. The cylinder heads uh, will be uh, secured to the block with uh, ERP 2000 uh, head studs. If you have any question regarding our project, any comments or 
any ideas that you want to share with us please drop us a comment and subscribe to our channel to see if we post something new to receive notification some new videos may be posted maybe not you will see if you subscribe to the channel thank you